Originated. That's right, yeah. So it's not Argentina, it's right here in France. So Argentina is our cousins, and uh, Malbec went to Argentina about 150 years ago, but it came from France. Now tell me a little bit about, about this region of Cor, because I think there's a lot of history behind it. We are not very far from Bordeaux, but Bordeaux is by the sea, and uh, uh, for centuries had access to that harbor, access to the sea, and so selling car wines meant to go through Bordeaux. Mm -hmm. An easy way to transport the wine. Yeah, well, in that time it was key to go through, uh, through boats, no yeah. planes, and so yes. it has to go to Bordeaux. And uh, the vines were introduced in car uh, with the Romans coming from Italy 2,000 years ago. And Romans loved drinking, and so they planted uh, vines. And since then, vines have been growing here in, in car. I know France is very regimented on the regions and the defined boundaries and you're in the appellation of, of Kaur. What does that really mean and what, what rules do you have to live by? Appellation is very complex. It took me a few years to really understand it. So to make it simple, appellation is also sometimes written as AOC. And what's important for you to remember, the O in the AOC means origin. So that's really the key thing about the AOC. It means the wine comes from grapes from a, a, a geographic area. So the AOC is really to, to prove that the grape and the wine comes from a special location. But there is a, a price to pay. Because <laughs> you belong to uh, the AOC, you need to, uh, to follow a lot of rules. So you, it's not just having a vineyard, but you have a, a maximum yield allowed. You cannot water the vines. Uh, you have a, a lot of process, a lot of restrictions. So there are so many rules that at the end, uh, it's good and bad. What's good is that you have some authentic uh, wine but nowadays with a worldwide competition, it makes it difficult to, to adapt. Now these grapes are actually growing on one type of terroir, but on the other side of this slope, on this hill, you have another type of terroir. That's the beauty about wine, not just Malbec, but wine in general, is that the wine is an expression of where it comes from. And so when you have different plots, you have different expressions. And you could decide to bottle each expression and then you have hundreds or thousands of different wine styles and that's not the goal. So at the end you, you decide which of the styles your vineyard is offering you, you want to express. And that's where blending comes into the picture. And the soil is uh, very important. Here we have uh, some, some clay, we can, we can see uh, the clay. And we have limestone, but there is no iron. While on the other side we have iron. Mm -hmm. And this will give different uh, uh, wine styles. Mm -hmm. and so depending of the vintage, because in France the vintage is, is very important, we may decide to, uh, to blend differently. So every year is a different recipe. Sounds good. I want to go up to the castle okay. <laughs> and Let's have a drink. Let's go. That's correct. So this, this wine is, is a blend. So it's a blend uh, of plots. With this blend, the goal is to have uh, the power of Malbec, but there is also a little bit of Merlot in it. And Merlot brings uh, additional silkiness and, uh, and also allows to, to drink the wine uh, sooner, mm. uh, while Malbec can edge uh, a lot more. So a good compromise. All right. You want to pour? Pour. See you later. You can definitely smell the black cherries and plums. Uh, you can smell, it's, it's very fresh, the freshness. 
you, spiciness. So spiciness, that's the Malbec is spicy. And also you, you can uh, smell a little bit of wood, but it, it's very subtle, a very little bit. And so all this mix makes it very complex. Now, if someone had never tried Malbec before, then what other varietal would you say this is similar to? I think whoever has tried uh, uh, powerful and elegant, so you can have a Cabernet Sauvignon or Shiraz, are powerful grapes, uh, then they should definitely try Malbec. It's different, but it shares this uh, power, but still elegant, so it's a very refined uh, grape to try. When I think of the spice in this wine, it makes me think of spicy food. So is it fair to say that this would be a good pairing with something spicy? Food is always challenging with the wine. There are some dishes that do not go well with, uh, with wines, or you have to pick the right wines. And uh, for Malbec, uh, any, any red meat and any dish that is uh, spicy uh, works well. So it could even be uh, chicken, Chicken is not red meat, yes, but if you add spices to the chicken, chilies or whatever, or Indian food, it was very well with my Wow, let's give it a try. Yeah, cheers.